has really struggled in this series, well, like a .7 to this point, battling against this team. It continues there, 14 and 24. Nothing really to write home about, but yeah, just so many, it felt like clean wipes. And when the breaks need to come in, they were so, so easy for subliners. Like a knife through butter, just got right into the hard point. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the times on Embassy, right, when those sort of early hills pop, early on in the hill, you know, it gets a little bit messy. There's some trades that go down. Maybe it comes down to a one versus one to kind of fight for the good spots. Yeah. That just did not happen. It no, just, no. It, it did not. It, it was always three, four dead right away for Legion. They were trying to fight back. This man on your street, Sandy, was trying to do what he could. But NYSL just too strong at P5. I mean, they hardly crossed the middle of the map to no, get there. No, it was impressive. And as much as, you know, we're talking about Legion, this storyline of them making a run to qualify for champs. I mean, for Subliners, you're just trying to how to regain your former glory. Like you start the year with the win. It's been kind of an uphill battle since then. Maybe the most confidence we've seen them playing with in a while. Well, I mean, they've had some, you know, top finishes throughout the year. It's just, yeah, there, there's a map, there's a moment. It's just like their, their winners round one that we saw versus Ultra, that control round where everyone's scratching their heads. Like, yeah. how the hell did you lose that? Yep. That's kind of been their year. Like, how, how are you losing some of these maps? Uh, such a talented team.